Now what is up guys? Today is an extremely exciting day. We are picking something up that I've been wanting secretly for a long time. But before we do that, we're here at the bank. I gotta make a deposit, but before we get on the road, I have to mention the C63 AMG giveaway is now live. This car could be yours. All you have to do to enter to win is go to autoblog.com, pick up some cool merch. I know you're gonna find something that you like. They don't make them like this anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This car has a 6.2 liter V8 in a C-Class. It's got an exhaust from FI, and it just looks amazing in this wrap. So pause the video, go to autoblog.com, pick up something you like. We're gonna hop in here uh, first. Because I feel uncomfortable standing outside and with <laughs> waving money around. This time around, not only do you win the car, you get $5,000 in cash. This wad of cash will be yours along with the car. So again, all you gotta do is head on over to the site. Every dollar spent equals one entry to win my AMG. I promise you, you're going to love this car. It's an absolute monster. So before we get out on the road and pick up the new truck, in today's video, just do a, a quick little deposit here and uh, I'll see you in a second. Man, I can't believe I'm using my heated steering wheel in June. It's 52 degrees outside. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? <sighs> Oh, look at this. For old time's sake, for old time's sake, we gotta do one last little tunnel run in the F-150 with the Borla attack. Of course, we got traffic, but whatever. I couldn't get my camera on quick enough but that semi over there just hit this construction truck he like swiped his uh yeah you can see it there on the front fender flare look see he's stopping here i don't know what the hell's wrong with this guy he was driving in the middle of the lane yeah that is weird man he just hit that construction truck i like swiped him on the turnpike so he's trying to find somewhere to pull over yeah, this guy's driving like a freaking weird. I don't know if he's half asleep or what. Yeah, you can't pull over here, bro. <laughs> it's construction zone, man. All right, well, uh, we've driven uh, about 285 mile. miles. Use the right lane to turn right on Smoketown Road. Smoketown Road, that's a cool street. You know what? 15.7 miles per gallon, that's better than a Raptor. And this is a supercharged F-150 lifted on 35s. What do you know? I, I don't know what I've titled this video yet. So, you know, you might you guys might already know what we're getting. And I think even if you don't know, you can probably figure it out if you haven't fast forwarded in the video. The F-150 is being replaced by... That's right, baby, it's Ram TRX time. <laughs> Had to step my game up. When you bring my name up, they gon' say I came up. They gon' say I changed up. Step my game up. When you bring my name up, they gon' say I came up. They gon' say I changed up. Step my game up. When you bring my name up, they gon' say I came up. Just gotta sign some papers and then we're on the road. Man, I'm excited. Dude, that thing is so badass. I love it. And I actually love that it has aftermarket wheels on it. It makes it even beefier and wider. Look at that thing. That thing's a monster. All right, so about two hours later, we're finally done. We've uh, signed all the papers, and I finally own a Ram TRX. I am super excited for this. This truck looks so mean, especially with the 1350 wides. Uh, wheels and tires that it has and it's so big like this is stock ride height and it's slightly taller than the older f-150 we'll put them right next to each other here in a second but do, just look at this thing in my personal opinion a ram trx looks best in black that's again just my opinion but dude this thing is so mean 
It's got some Moto Metal wheels on there. Maybe not my brand of choice, but I think it really fits this truck because it's big and beefy, just like Raptors are for Fords. They got, you know, wider fenders. And uh, I mean, it, just, it fills it out. This thing looks so mean. I absolutely love it. Dude, I'm so happy. I have a Ram TRX. This is the only truck I would trade that for. The TRX is currently king of the truck market. I mean, and I own a third gen Raptor. I still, I mean, this is, oh, I freaking love it, man. This thing looks so bad ass. Uh, we've been here for a while now, so I gotta get out on the road. We'll talk more about what it's like, you know, first impressions of driving it, because I've never really driven it. So uh, yeah, I'm here with my man, Mo, who uh, helped me out at Coons Ford here in Virginia. Huge thanks to you, dude. No problem, man. No problem. And uh, for anyone that is looking to buy uh, my F-150, contact Mo here, and uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to help you out. I'm sad to see the truck go. Uh, I mean, I, I, I love that truck. It's time for something different. All right, so we got them right next to each other again here. So my, you guys know, uh, we put a four-inch uh, BDS coilover kit on the truck. Uh, it's a lot of freaking cars beeping around here. But the Ram stock ride height, and it, it's on 35s, although they're wider, but it's stock ride height. And it's, well, I can see, I mean, they're very similar if the Ram is not slightly, slightly taller. I mean, this is a big truck stock. And just look how mean this thing looks from the front, man, compared to the Ford. I know it's all about opinion, but the Ram, it just looks better. It'll be very interesting to come home and uh, park this next to the uh, Raptor we have at home, which, you know, paint match and all that. The Raptor looks absolutely awesome. But dude, this is, ah, I mean, this is a big boy right here, man. I love this thing. I'm super excited. And uh, where are the keys, Mo? Are they inside? Yeah, they're inside. We, we gotta start it up, uh, even though it's not gonna be a cold start. Check, dude, we got TRX keys, what? We're obviously gonna have to do something with the exhaust because that's mandatory on this channel. Oh yeah, uh, it sounds so good. It's not, you know, obnoxiously loud or anything, but you can really hear a difference between the Hemi and the Coyote and the Ford. Dude, <laughs> I'm truly, really, really excited. This is so awesome. And the wheels, man, they just poke out perfectly. I think this is the perfect setup for this truck. You might want like different design wheels or different brand or whatever, but it looks so good. Oh. <laughs> and again, I know I'm like the 14th freaking YouTuber, the last one to get, you know, a TRX on their channel, but um, I just felt like it was time. It was time for Switch, you know, leaving Ford going to Ram. The only brand I would switch to from Ford is the Ram because this is the king right now. All right, so we're uh, we're gonna leave here and start driving home. I don't know how any of this works, uh, performance pages or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to reset like, oh, look at that fuel economy. <laughs> what do you expect? All right, where's the, that was the trip. All right, so we're gonna reset that see what we get on the way home here. I'll leave some initial impressions, of course, of, of driving the TRX uh, in this video here, but we'll probably do a separate video where I really talk about the differences between this and what I'm used to in the F-150. Yeah, you can see her over there. Uh, it is a little weird to trade her in, but yeah, on to something new. So we're celebrating before we start driving home here with some Chick-fil-A, and first thing I noticed right off the bat, stereo is 1,000% better. All right, so all we've had so far is a bunch of traffic and boring turnpike driving, but I absolutely love this truck, and that's not some, you know, over-dramatizing YouTube statement because I just bought a new vehicle or whatever. This is the truck that I should have had all along. <laughs> oh, I love it. Listen to the wine. Oh, <laughs> Oh. God, it sounds so damn good, and it's fast. Compared to the F-150 that was supercharged with more power, 
uh, I don't know, more torque, but less weight. This just, it feels faster. It's gotta be because of the tuning and uh, being a, a 6.2 instead of a 5 liter, and maybe gearing, definitely transmission. Transmission is so much better in this truck than it was in the in the Ford. Now the Ford is more set up maybe for like towing, stuff like that, not for performance. This is an eight speed versus a 10 speed. I just like this so much better. I'm getting a massive 12.8. It's actually been up to like 13.1 fuel economy. Uh, now just cause I did that little pull. <laughs> it sucked some fuel. Hey man, me and the TRX, we're gonna have a, I think a long future and a very nice relationship, man. I love this truck already. Um, I wanna go home and show my wife cause she's already like semi jelly cause I sent her a picture of the truck and now she's all pissed off because she thinks that uh, you know my truck is better than hers and she's always had the cooler truck because she has Raptors um, but it's gonna be fun to see her face see what she thinks man I'm just, I'm just so happy I, like, like this was the best decision to get a TRX I should have gotten one a long long time ago uh. what do you think yeah pretty sweet huh So first things first, we had to go straight to uh, blackout tinting and obviously tint the front windows as well because we didn't even have that. It looks great. They did it in like a short time as usual. Thanks so much, buddy. Of course. Thank you. Always come here to take care of my stuff. So at least now we got tint. All right, so we're back home with the big boy. I don't even know if you can call this a girl. This thing looks so beefy and so manly. So does the Raptor. I gotta say, it feels pretty damn cool to have the two most badass trucks that money can buy out of the box in the driveway what do you guys prefer the raptor the paint matched bumpers and the painted grill and everything versus the ram trx this thing looks so much bigger than the raptor <laughs> but they're both equally awesome this one obviously because of its power plant it's got the hellcat engine this only has a yeah Eco bitch, but it's still an amazing truck and it's actually powerful and torquey and stuff, just not as powerful as that. And I do think a Raptor can probably outpace the Ram when it comes to like Baja and pure off roading, that's what it's made for. Uh, I, yeah, I, I still like this more though. So we got uh, our windows tinted and everything. So that's the first little thing. We have uh, actually pretty cool plans for this thing. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. That it's about a month away, but still, we're gonna do some uh, tasteful mods to this truck, and I'm just so excited about, you know, like just owning it now and, and seeing what it's like long term. So with that being said, I think we're gonna end the video. Um, I think it's going on for for long enough here. Uh, got plenty more videos to come. Of course, the next one is gonna, you know, be more of what it's like to drive and I'm gonna do my first launch control and that kind of thing. Uh, I've never owned a truck that has launch control. I mean, this is, I don't even know if the Raptor R is gonna come with launch control when it's finally here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it does, but this one does. Go through all these performance pages and, and all the cool stuff that the TRX has. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe because it's going to be coming a lot more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.